Our first distinguished speaker is Mr. Ken Bowers, who has served since 2007 as the Secretary of the National Spiritual Assembly of the Baha'is of the United States. In recent years, he's also acted as the Assembly's liaison to the advisory board of the Baha'i Chair. In that capacity, has, he has periodically visited the University of Maryland to participate in chair events and to lead strategic planning meetings of the chair's advisory board. Before becoming secretary, Mr. Bowers served, Bowers served as the National Spiritual Assembly's deputy secretary and also published a very well-received study of the high faith. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Ken Bowers. So, uh, as a small acknowledgement uh, uh, of our appreciation of the work of the Baha'i National Assembly, it gives me great pleasure to award the Dean's Distinguished Service Medal. Uh, I normally, whenever I make an award, I take advice. This is mine to give to who I see fit, and I'm delighted to say that I'm honoured to present it to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, very sweet. Just before I let you say a few words, Please. may I make it clear, this is thanks for your very substantive support, but more importantly, it's for the inspiration and leadership you provided in support of peace and the scholarship so important to underpin its pursuit. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Let's say a few words. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean Townsend. I'd, I'd like to express and turn the deep gratitude of the National Spiritual Assembly for the leadership of the University of Maryland and yours in particular by way of a few remarks about a shared vision. It has been said that civilization is the social expression of the human spirit, that spirit being the aggregate of our collective intellect, our culture, our values. In short, those things that we share and reflect together as human beings in our common quest for good. And in our modern age, we've become accustomed to the idea that civilization progresses, but we're also keenly aware that no progress happens on its own accord. The past century has taught us that it is just as possible and perhaps easier for societies to slip into destruction as it is for them to advance along a positive path. Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i Faith, taught that human beings are created by God to carry forward an ever-advancing civilization, but that to do this requires unremitting commitment to certain essential universal ideals. Together, these principles describe the means whereby every person can reach his or her full potential, achieve lasting happiness, prosperity in its full sense, both material and spiritual, and contribute his or her full share to society's onward progress. These are described in summary form in a statement that was issued in the mid-1980s entitled The Promise of World Peace by the chief governing body of the Baha'i Faith, the Universal House of Justice. And in fact, it was that statement, The Promise of World Peace, that inspired the establishment of this Baha'i chair. Among the principles outlined in that document are the unfettered quest for truth, the commitment to education, and the conscious pursuit of justice and opportunity for all. Particularly as we emerge into a truly global society, it is essential that we cultivate an unshakable consciousness of the oneness of humanity with all that it implies, including freedom from prejudice, pursuit of diversity, equal opportunities for women and men, consciousness of the organic interdependence of all peoples on the planet, and the creation of a world-embracing ethic that features international dialogue, consultation, and problem-solving with the interests of all parties sincerely upheld. If humanity is to emerge successfully into the new world that is now coming into being, it will be to the degree that people of goodwill are able to work together to achieve these ends. 
The members of the Baha'i community consider it therefore a great blessing to have found at the University of Maryland partners who exemplify these ideals. The university has a well-demonstrated commitment to diversity. It has both an outstanding international vision and an exemplary record of community service here in the state of Maryland. And above all, it has a relentless drive for academic excellence. These values have proven themselves time, again in time and again in very practical ways because we ourselves, in the course of the two decades of our association with the university, have seen it vault, literally, into the front ranks of elite institutions around the world. In the case of the Baha'i Chair, it was a member of this university's faculty, the late Dr. Edward Azar, who had the vision to see the connection between the principles taught by Baha'u'llah and the values of this institution, and to understand the potential in such a partnership to advance discourse on peace and the means of achieving it. We take great pride in the achievements of the Chair to date, and we wish to offer special thanks to Dr. John Grazel and Dr. Sohail Bushri, the original holder and the most recent holder of the chair. And of course, we wish to wish our dear friend, Dr. Hoda Mahmoudi, great success in building upon their work, confident that the chair will, under her leadership, reach new heights. Especially, though, we would like to thank uh, our very good friend, Dean John Townsend, whom we have come to know as a man of great principle and dedication, warm-hearted and generous with his time and with the energy that he has given into, in the support of this chair. And we won't leave it at just a word. We have a gift for you, if you don't mind, John. There is a very renowned calligrapher who is an Iranian, but who emigrated to China some 20 or 30 years ago. I don't know exactly when. And during the course of his years in China, he has become renowned as a master calligrapher in Chinese. His name is Farzam Kamalabadi. And in honor of this very event, Mr. Kamal Abadi asked permission to give something to the National Spiritual Assembly that the Assembly could give to John Townsend in token of appreciation for his leadership at the university. And here it is. Now, you're welcome. We'll have it delivered somehow to you. <laughs> and I'll just explain what it was. It, the, the inscription is, Tao gave birth to all, Tao created all. And what this is is a reference to the Tao, uh, which is the invisible unknown essence, being the origin of the universe and having given birth to all things. And we know, of course, that uh, Dean Townsend is, is very much a lover of Chinese history and culture, and we thought that this would be particularly appropriate to you, John, for, uh, because of that. And... Um, we have one more thing, and this is for the university, if you don't mind. Um, the National Spiritual Assembly acts as the trustees of the affairs of the Baha'i faith in this country. And as such, we receive the contributions of members of the Baha'i faith from all around uh, the 48 states, and uh, very much as trustees of these funds, in the sense that those who contribute in the Baha'i faith do so in the knowledge that the National Spiritual Assembly will only expend these sacred resources on the things that are of the greatest and highest value, of the greatest importance to humanity and to its advancement. And so we're quite proud that the National Spiritual Assembly has uh, had the resources to support the work of the chair over the past years, and we wish now again to offer another token of that support in the form of a check for $100,000 to the Baha'i Chair. Thank you so much, Ken, for those uh, very kind words, uh, for the personal present for me. I very much appreciate it. And once again, to all of those who contributed, thank you very much for this. Uh, you call it a token. I, I don't call it a token. I call it an extremely large, generous donation. Thank you so much. Thank you.